Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Davissa, and today I'm going to show you how I like to do my fairy wings. We will be working out of the Big Book of Fairies coloring book, 100 Illustrations to Color, by Molly Harrison. And I'm going to be using the Marco Pastel colored pencils. I got these um, quite a few months ago off of Etsy. It took me about a month to get them, but um, I saved a lot of money that way. Um, they do have them on Amazon, I believe, but they are considerably more than what I paid for mine. I will try to leave a link, though, in the description for these. Um, I will also be using a white jelly roll tin gel pen and the stickles moon dust glitter gel and a paintbrush to apply this um, all right let me zoom you in and we will get started actually that might be a little too far in back out just a little sorry about that so sorry okay so normal used to anyway I always started by coloring it first and then outlining it with the gel pen but this time I wanted to try to put the gel pen down first and see how that worked out and I actually like how that worked um I was afraid that I would scratch the gel pen off when I started to color it but that did not happen. Um, maybe I just got lucky. We'll find out today, I suppose, in, while I'm making this video. So, um, But I'm just going to trace over the lines that the artist drew with this white gel pen. It doesn't have to be perfect. But just mainly trying to cover these up as much as possible. I'm sorry for any noise you might hear in the background. It's earlier than I normally film. And my son is up and playing in his room. And my boyfriend's playing online with his friends. So you may hear some noise. Anyway, I am just going to trace over all of these lines and let it dry for a second. And then we will move on from here. And in case you're curious, for the rest of this image, what I used on it was, um, for the background, I used the King Art Mixed Media Gel Sticks for the background. I used Crayola Colors of the World colored pencils for her skin, and I used um, the Brute Funer 180 set for her clothes and gloves and footwear and then for the the archway that she's sitting on top of and the ivy I used Prisma colors and for her hair as well I used Prismas oh and the background uh, the moon um not the background the moon I also used the King Art mixed media gel sticks and then I traced around it with a the white gel pen for that as well. I really like uh, using those gel sticks. I like the different effects you can get with them, dry or wet. And if you haven't already saw watched my video um, with me using those to do a background, please check that out. 
it is on my channel and I really think that these are a lot of fun and they are definitely quick and easy uh, to use for backgrounds or like you see I didn't just use it for the background I also used it for the moon so um, you can use it for other parts of your page as well not just your background I'm not doing a very good job <laughs> going over these lines and look okay make sure I'm not off camera because I have a bad habit of that as well Okay, go over her wing. All right. Now we need to just let this dry. So I'm going to pause this for a minute while this gel pen dries. And then we will be back to continue from there. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But I do believe that it is dry enough now that we can get started. Okay, and the way that I did it, well, first of all, eh, backpedal, <laughs> sorry, I'm using the Mark, like I said, the Marco Pastel Colored Pencils, and these do not have color names or numbers on them, as you can see, um, but what I did was I picked out the lightest blue, yellow, pink, and purple in the set, um, so we're going to start with our blue. And we will lay that down first. And I'm just going to put some here. And then fade out. Feather it out. And then come in here. And do the same. You probably can't see the white lines um, on the camera like I can um, sitting here. But um, I'm just going around all these little white lines. And putting in some color. I'll take this a little bit this way. Go ahead and do this part. And now since pink and, well, red and blue or red and pink, however, we'll make a purple color, um, <laughs> we'll do purple next. And we'll just go over the blue that we did and fade it out a little. Again, we'll over that and kind of feather it out now when I go over the blue with the purple I'm not using any kind of heavy pressure at all I'm just lightly going over the blue I don't really want to change the color of that blue I just want to get it to where it transitions into the purple so we will do that and then um We'll do the same thing down here. Just make sure that you, you leave a feathery edge to put the next color down with. Um, and the next one that I will be using is the pink. And we, again, will go over everything we've done, the blue and the purple. And we will add the pink. And then... So I'm so sorry about that noise. That is my cat. She is in the background playing around. Um, but yes, again, you'll leave a little feathery edge. And so that we can fit our last color down. Okay, and then we'll take the little light yellow or cream 
color and we will go over all of this and put that down and this one I'm using a little bit firmer pressure trying to blend these colors in fairly well um, I may even attempt to some scratch paper here, clean that off. I even attempt to try to use my little piece of a blender, Karen Dash blender stick that I have here, and see if I can get that with to get rid of the white spot. Since I did not use very firm pressure before, I did leave some white spot, which isn't really going to be a big deal because we are going to go over it with this glitter gel, but um, I want to try to get rid of as much of that as possible. So we are going to do that. Okay. And then I think we'll go ahead and lay down the glitter gel up here and then we'll move on and do the, the rest of her wing. Oops. Drop my paper towel. Sorry about that. Okay. And I don't really, I had this in water because I have not used this brush before and it had the coating on the bristles and you don't want to snap those. You just want to kind of get that off. So I just left it soaking in water. So I'm just trying to get as much of that out of there as possible. Because um, I don't really want it wet. I just want to be able to move this around a little bit. So I'm going to open this up. And remove that. Can you see how beautiful and shimmery that is i just absolutely love this stuff it's so sparkly absolutely love it okay i apologize again my son came in for just a minute um but yeah we are going to apply this with this paintbrush and this is just a cheap paintbrush that i picked up at Ollie's, I believe, in a set that come with, I think, like six or more possible paintbrushes um, for like a dollar fifty. Really cheap set. Um, you don't need any kind of fancy brush since this is glitter glue. You're not really gonna want to. I mean, you could. You could use your better brushes for it, but me personally. I choose to use one of these instead. Um, now I'm just going to apply it and kind of try to pull it around. Okay, that was a lot. But yeah, you can just move it around with the brush until it gets kind of evened out in the way that you want it. And you could use this on to go over backgrounds or any kind of large area that you wanted to make sparkly on your page. I love these. I think they are beautiful. Which I love stickles anyway, but <laughs> I love these also. So and there is our Half of our finished wing. I think she's really lovely. All right. Now, where's my pencil? And we will go and repeat the same steps on... Let me move that out of the way a little bit. On these other two parts of her wings. So, we'll just start with our blue. Fade it out. And yeah, I've also used instead of the stickles, 
glitter gel. I've used regular stickles, and I've also used um, Wink of Stella. Um, you could use that. You could use the glitter paints. Um, there are so many different things you could use if you wanted to make them glittery. I've also used the Crayola pearlescent marker, the color changer one. It's kind of clear. It just makes it look pearlescent. Um, I've used that, which that is, I've about used that thing up. <laughs> Honestly, I've used it so much. But yeah, so I'm just adding a little purple. And you can really do these just kind of however you want. We're just trying to, um, Make them look a little iridescent and a little um, shimmery and sparkly. And again, like I said earlier, you can always wait and do your... Um... Oh look, I forgot this up here. You can always wait and add your gel pen after you add your colored pencil. I just, I had had issues where I felt like, um, once I put the gel pen down after doing the colored pencil, that it kind of hid somehow, it hid some of the color. So I wanted to see, could I put it down first and maybe get a better um, effect with it. Than putting it down last. And I actually got to say, I really do like the way this has turned out and the way that it's looking, um, having put that down first. So I'm just gonna go over everything with this yellow. And then I'm going to take the blender and just lightly go over some of that. Okay. All right. And now we will apply our Stickles Glitter Gel. Oh no. Well, after I throw the lid across my desk. Okay. Let's get a little bit. I had a little too much on my brush to start out with. Move that around until it looks the way you want it. There we go. And again, in case you're interested, I will try to leave links to as many things as I possibly can in the description below. Alright, and that is pretty much it, guys. There we go. We have done some beautiful fairy wings. Let me zoom you out so you can see the whole image, hopefully. Yes, and it is very sparkly, and I really like how she looks. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving me a like, and 
leaving me a comment and considering subscribing if you haven't already. Um, and if you have any tips, tricks, hints, or anything else that you would like to share with me, please also leave that down in the comment section below. And until next time, you guys stay safe out there, and I will see you later. Bye!